The East African nation of Tanzania is currently undergoing its first ever national forest inventory, known as Neforma. Approximately one third of Tanzania is forested, but that forest is being lost. The purpose of Neforma is to assess the extent and state of the forests and the rate of deforestation. Neforma field workers have gathered not only biophysical data, such as the number and size of trees, but also, crucially, socioeconomic information on how people use the forests. The information will be used to assess carbon emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, but also to formulate national policies based on sustainable forest management that will help safeguard people's livelihoods. The socioeconomic is important because the degradation we are observing, they are not caused by natural calamities. They are human related. As in many African nations, the majority of Tanzanians cut trees for firewood and the production of charcoal, on which they depend for their daily cooking needs. They also clear forests to make way for agriculture and grazing. Neforma aims to map the forest degradation and deforestation caused by these activities. With the population of Tanzania expanding rapidly at a rate of one million people per year, forests are more important than ever to food security but they're also under more pressure than ever before. The livelihood factor is very strong that people surrounding the forest need to live, need to use their resources to survive, need to raise their income, need to, to put their livestock or to feed their rifle from the fodder of the forest. So there is, in a way, there is an antagonism. So we need to have good synergies. There is trade-off on both sides, but to come into a good synergy whereby we can achieve or balance conservation objectives with the livelihood objectives. The design of the socio-economic survey follows that of the biophysical data collection to ensure a close analytical link between the two. In every second sample site where biophysical data is being collected, four households are interviewed based on their proximity to the biophysical site. A total of 4,000 households across Tanzania. They're asked about factors such as age, household size, economic activities and income sources, but most importantly about how they use the forest, consumption of forest products, energy sources and how the forest is managed. In addition, two key local figures are interviewed, such as village elders, local property owners, NGO representatives or district forest officers. Funded by the Government of Finland and designed by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, Neforma is generating relevant, timely and reliable information to help in the formulation of improved land use policies policies that will lead to natural resources being managed in a sustainable way, that will also sustain livelihoods and help mitigate poverty. In Finland we have a development policy which is based on rights of people and when the data is collected now for Naforma, it's collected among different kinds of people and the data will show that uh, there are different uses for the forest and there are different groups of people that use the forest. So it's not only one block of people, but it can be disabled people, it can be women, of course they, they use the forest a lot. It can be marginalized groups, so it's really important that they are all included in the future planning and implementation of national forest programs. There is often a natural antagonism between protecting the forest and protecting the livelihoods of the people who depend on that forest, which is why it's so important to understand the human element of environmental degradation. If you do away from it in the planning stage, then you'll be forced to use more coercive method to prevent people from using the forest, rather than agreeing on what should be used and what should not under what conditions. So there, the regulations and, uh, and the laws should be uh, participatory, should be arrived in a more participatory way, so that all both sides agree. In this way, sustainable solutions can be found for both the forests and the people who use them. <laughs>